walk around slowly. And then if you have a question or two, if you wait till the end, they know and they're going to park over here by the lunch line. And then when you guys are going through the lunch line, you can say, why would you have an ice cream cone on a china float? And then Kate will be able to tell you the china and then the ice cream. Okay? So if you have a question, just wait until they get parked around the edge. And if you slowly go through the lunch line, you can ask your questions then. Okay? And don't applaud until the end because you're all done with it. Kate with China, and their country name is on the side, so we forget which country name. Rebecca Stone, she's a sixth grade teacher here at St. Mary's. Tell us a little bit about this project. My students have been studying countries all over the world, and each of the 24 students chooses a different country, and they write a research paper on that country, and they also prepare a slideshow presentation in Computer Lab, and then as kind of a compilation of the whole thing, then they do this country parade that we share with the whole school and some of the parents, and they have to bring in a red wagon, or any wagon, and present a float that has at least 10 things that represent their country. Maybe they were invented there or it's commonly known there. That kind of sums up the assignment. Okay. The, seeing all these projects today, how do you feel about it? I think they did a great job. And they do all of the float work at home on their own. The paper and the slideshow we work on in school, but all of the float parade stuff they do at home. They did a great job. Okay. This is David Boswell and his country was Brazil. You want to kind of talk them through what you have on it and what represents Brazil? This is the Amazon River, and this is all like the wildlife. And then this is the flag, and this means order and progress. And then this is, they have a big holiday there, it's Fiesta, or a festival, and it lasts three days, and these are just pictures of it. Looks great. And here we have Carrie Ertle, and her country was Spain. Carrie, you want to tell us? Um, I have a CD, and that's just like Spanish music. I have a sombrero, some different vegetables that they grow, um, sunflowers that they have, and this is just a collage of different pictures, and um, a bullfighting ring, that because that's really big there, and sand and shells because the Mediterranean Sea, and the flag. Great job. And we have Addie Skelton, whose country was Ireland. Addie, you want to tell them what you have? Yeah. Um, this is their Celtic cross, and that's a heart, and this is the um, Celtic knot, and there's no end beginning, so it's like um, the, uh, like you don't know what's going to be end, you don't know what's, gonna, what's the beginning or the end, and that's St. Patrick, he's the patron saint, and this is the green man, he, um, they think, the um, Ireland people think, that he um, grows a cross for him and stuff. And this is a pot of gold. And this is shamrocks. And a leprechaun hat. And then the sheep, because they uh, their occupation is sheepering. 
and this is the flag, and the green represents the Catholics, and the orange represents the uh, Protestants, and the white is the pe is their peace. Great job.